Please have your name. Richard Tester. Yeah, Richard had several amazing miracles. Just share how God has healed yeah. you. Just through um, John praying, healing, and God giving me a miracle of my sight back, my um, weight down, my body healed. And, and this so year, you're actually legally, legally blind. Basically legally blind, yes. Wow. And you, when I saw you were blind and you were paralysed in a wheelchair. Yeah, yes. So, so you just had to become paralysed and blind? Uh, through sarcoidosis it just shut the nervous system down, my feelings, my bones. It went into um, my eyes, my ears, my nose, went into my jaw, lungs, liver, glands, everywhere. And doctors gave you 80 months to live? Basically 80 months to live, just go home, sort your affairs out. And because when I first saw you in a wheelchair, just show us this, just show us this photo here. Yep. Here's, a, here, here's a photo here of you when I first saw you. You were blind and you were crippled in a wheelchair. Okay. That's amazing. Mm. And so, and, and then here's your, remember you were bleeding from the eyes. Yeah. And when I first saw the blood coming out of your eyes, I had to, when I put my thumbs in your eyes to pray for the blindness, they had blood all over my thumbs. Um, yes. That's amazing. And, and to yes. see you now. Good eye. Because you came to Sun Coast about two and a half years ago now, yes. at the, 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 the uh, Christian Arab Centre at Womba, Womba, I remember. Richard suffers from pulmonary sarcoidosis, which shuts down the nervous system and has kept him wheelchair bound for almost a decade. But at John Mellor's Heel Fest, he got out of his wheelchair. He's walking, come on! Before this apparent miracle, Richard always thought faith healers were charlatans, using stooges in the audience. And and um and God just healed you and, 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 and you paralyzed so was it a stroke, was it? So, yeah. And you, and you also had a shattered knee, didn't you? Yes. And so you left in a wheelchair and, and that the disease called blindness. Blindness, paralysis. And so you, you, how long were you in a wheelchair for? Uh, roughly about seven to eight years in a wheelchair, blind between four and five years. That's amazing. Because, yeah. because you also had, well, you know, not only you had a damaged back, you only had, you had a, a you had a damaged knee, you were paralyzed on one side from a stroke, you were blind from the bleeding that like destroyed the nerves of your eyes. It's amazing, and you had diabetes too. Diabetes on insulin. And, and you were actually grossly overweight. How much weight did you lose after prayer? After prayer, all up, I dropped from 178 down to 106. That's amazing. Yeah. It's an amazing it's miracle. Wow, and, and, and so what have the doctors said about this? The doctor, while declining to appear on camera, told today tonight the change has been remarkable and admits she can't explain how it's happened. My body went tingly, went numb. I felt all of a sudden no pain in the whole body, which is a miracle in itself. Then all of a sudden I stood up out of a chair, walked up about five stairs, walked on the stage, and he turned around and he was a... Uh, they sort of comment to me, but they stay off camera. They don't make a statement to the press or anything like that. It's more than supposedly their job's worth, I don't know. Because, because you actually... They're happy and they, they say, mate, if it's working, keep going. Because you are actually on Today Tonight, weren't you? Yes. And, and how, did, how, did, how did Today Tonight, that, document, that, uh, that, that news program, react to this miracle? Well, at first they were sceptical until they saw the medical evidence and saw me. They came around to my actual house and did an interview there. And it was on national television, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. And so, and so, and so, what did the doctors say today tonight? They actually said the doctors. Yeah. I think they said that they they couldn't refute. They the couldn't re refute what had happened. They had to say, well, there was something in it. There was something there. Because no one can be paralysed for that long and blind, and then, you know. Well, well, mate, it's, it's an amazing miracle what God's done for you. It is. Healed from blindness, paralysis, paralysis diabetes. diabetes smashed leg, uh, damaged back. Uh, yep. God's been good to you, hasn't he? He's been awesome. Yeah, because when you turned up, you, you were sceptical, weren't you? To that Very sceptical, yeah. You, you were expecting anything to happen? No. Nah. But God healed you anyway? Yes, he did. Well, God's good, isn't he? Yes, he is. He God bless you, Richard. Yeah, now, Richard, since you're here, you've, you, you've been jogging, haven't you? Yes, I have. I've How much? You've been 13 kilometres last time I saw you every morning. Well, I've 
cut it down to three times a week. I walk from Kalanga to uh, Caboolture. How far is that? It's a round trip of 32 kilometres. Wow. Well, God and bless I you. And I run in between it. God bless you, Richard, for sharing that. Thank you. Bye.